a spherical conductor. What we have here is one sphere, and then outside that sphere we have a thin cylindrical, I'm sorry, thin spherical shell. The inner sphere has a radius of a lowercase a. The outer thin cylindrical or thin spherical shell has a radius of b. Again, it's a thin sphere, so it doesn't matter whether that's to, to the inside or the outside, it's irrelevant. The middle one is going to be charged with positive Q. The outer one is going to be charged with a negative Q. And our goal is to figure out the capacitance of this capacitor. A capacitance is equal to the charge divided by the electric potential difference. Charge, Q, we have that. We need to figure out the electric potential difference. The electric potential difference is equal to general equation for electric potential difference. We do not have a constant electric field, so it's not equal to negative ED. James? KQ over R would be the electric, electric, uh, the electric potential that exists around a, um, a point charge, but that's not quite what we have here. We need the electric potential difference between points A and point B. That's what we're trying to get at here. Uh, Negative integral of E dot dr. Negative integral of E dot dr. As we go from A to B. So we're going to go from <coughs> A to B. We know the electric field has an orientation that looks like this. And our goal is to figure out this. We have the dot product. The electric field that exists in the region between A and B, we know it. What is it? Mitch. Um, uh, uh, KQ1 times Q2 over R. KQ1 times Q2 over no, R? No, KQ. K times Q over R squared is one. The electric field that acts, that it's going to act like a point charge. So the electric field is going to be the electric field for a point charge. KQ over R squared. Okay. Theta is going to be, Garrett? Um, it's not 90. The cosine of 90 is zero, and then this whole thing would end up being zero. 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 Notice that this is the angle between dr. dr is in the direction going from A to B and the electric field, which is going to be zero degrees. So we have negative integral from A to B of kq, KQ over r squared dr, where theta is equal to zero degrees. So, what now? We need to take the interval. Okay. Oh, the KQ on a constant. So we Negative KQ, interval from A to B, dr. Of R to the negative second term. R to the negative two. Negative KQ, keep going. Um, times. Um, uh, negative, or R to the negative first over negative one. Good, from A to B. We have a negative that cancels here, so we have KQ over R from A to B. So, we have the electric potential difference equals KQ over B minus KQ over A. Let's work with just this B over uh, B minus A, Q, KQ, 1 over B minus 1 over A to make it easier to work with. To get a common denominator, we have A minus B on the top divided by BA on the bottom. So the electric potential difference equals K times Q times the quantity A minus B, all of that divided by BA. That is our electric potential difference. 
going back to what we're trying to find, we're looking for the capacitance. The capacitance equals uh, Q over the electric potential difference. In other words, Q divided or multiplied by the inverse of this, B times A over KQ times A minus B. These Qs are actually the same, so we get capacitance equals B times A divided by K times A minus B. And it's important to understand that this answer is not correct. It's a very subtle but important thing. Sure, what, what's the it that's negative? I'm sorry. It, I'm sorry, I had a hard time with it. Going all the way back to introduc introducing capacitance. I said capacitance is always positive. Is this a positive answer? No. No. Notice, A minus B. A is less than B. Therefore, A minus B is less than zero. So how do we fix it? Because we have a negative capacitance here. How do I take the absolute value of that? What's the slap value? Slap some absolute values on that other side? No, ain't going to do it. <laughs> Meg. No, but it's not going to do it. Nope, not going to do it. We have two choices. Tim? Go from B to A instead. Uh, just sure. We could just take the negative of the original equation. 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 Negative of the original so when we multiply this whole thing by negative, what we get is uh, B times A divided by K times B minus A. And you may think that's a small, subtle thing, and why would the AP people care? They do. And that, I, there was something very similar to that, I don't know if it's exactly the same, appeared on one of the AP tests, and if you did not get that, you did not get full credit. So please, Make sure you remember, capacitance is always positive.